back, everybody. We're week two, and as we said last week, we're in for the most exciting month of college football, and I believe the whole history of college football. And it was accurate because there were a lot of things that shook up last week, and with teams playing one another, the same thing will happen this week. So let's get into college football playoff ranking week two. Here you go, Clemson stays number one, Alabama with their win over LSU moves to number two, Ohio State stays at three. This is a big move. What the committee is saying is Notre Dame's schedule thus far and with their wins, they're in the college football playoff. And with them playing number seven, Stanford, if they can win out against Wake and Boston College and Stanford, I think Notre Dame gets into the college football playoff and knocks out the Big 12 and the Pac-12 from getting into the college football playoff. So that's a, that's a big move. Iowa, another big move. At number five, Baylor and, and Oklahoma State, all these Big 12 teams are gonna have the chance to move up playing one another as their strength of schedule gets better. Stanford, nice move to number seven with still Notre Dame to play. And it, with them as high as number four, a big win by Stanford. And if they win the Pac-12 championship, it's gonna get real interesting there. LSU drops down to number nine, but still in the top 10 for a New Year's Six game. And Utah now at number, or LSU at number nine, I'm sorry, and, L and Utah at number 10, uh, make up the top 10 this week. Things to remember, again, the plus signs mean that a conference has a championship game. So when you see the Big 12 or Notre Dame, they do not play another game after their season. That's big to keep in mind. Could hurt them, could help them. Ranked opponents is in green. As you can see up here, a lot of people in this top 20 playing a lot of ranked teams still. So as I said, it's gonna be really interesting this last month. The group of five, we'll talk about a lot about that today. That's in red. So you see the American Athletic is highly thought of. Navy, Memphis, Temple, Houston, all group of five. And then in the blue are the Power Five conferences. So let's, let's select the New Year's Six Bowl games. As you know, Clemson, number one, geographically, they would be placed in the Capital One Orange. They'd play number four, Notre Dame, if the season were to end today. The Cotton, Goodyear Cotton Bowl would have number two and three, Alabama and Ohio State. Then the committee goes back to the Rose and Sugar, and with their contracts, with the Pac-12 and the Big Ten, the Rose would select Stanford and Iowa, Sugar would take Baylor and LSU, and now we're down to the, the group of five coming into play. Navy is ranked number 20, so we're gonna place Navy geographically in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Florida, number 11, would play them in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. And then we've got number 10, Utah, playing number eight, Oklahoma State in the Fiesta Bowl. For ge ge geographical purposes, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's go into a little bit more depth on uh, the group of five teams. Again, they're either going to be placed in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl this year. Based on week two, Navy is ranked number 20. They're the highest group of five teams, so we place them in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Um, let's talk a little bit about the American Athletic Conference and, and go into what is happening in college football with a round robin that's going to affect this group of five. Navy still has Houston to play, who's ranked number 24. Memphis has both Houston and Temple to play. Temple has Memphis to play, and Houston's got Memphis and Navy to play. And then what happens with Navy, Houston, and Memphis on one side of the division in the American Athletic, they have to play a championship game, as we've listed here, and that more than likely is gonna be Temple. So you've got a real interesting dynamic of teams playing one another to get to the championship game, and then having probably more than likely a high ranked team to play. So I think the American Athletic is, is really in good shape to get the group of five, but we'll see who comes out of that morass of playing one another uh, in the American Athletic. The other point we wanna make is you still got some, some other teams knocking on the door here. Bowling Green, Western Kentucky, BYU, who does not have a conference championship game. Boise State, who does and typically makes a run at the end and then Arkansas State and Toledo. So there's still some other conferences that are in play here to try and get up into the top 25 
to be the highest ranked champion of the group of five who automatically gets a selection in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl. So there's your New Year's Six in week two of the college football playoff. And as I say every week, this will change completely next week because all the ranked teams playing one another. So we'll be back next week to go through it again. Hope you enjoy this and hope you enjoy this week in college football.